Good evening and welcome to Ben TV's Alphabet Soup. Tonight we're having another one of our wonderful d debates. They all seem to go a little bit confusing, but let's see how we go. Now, the mainstream heterosexuality seem to live with the idea that queers are sexual predators. They seem to think that if they invite us into their home, we're going to be leaving wet spots on the leather furniture and making eyes at the family pet, especially if it's a gerbil. <laughs> this idea is so prevalent that we seem to have taken up these banners ourselves. Bitch, you are such a flut. Mm -hmm. Lesbians are painted as clandestine schemers, dishing out just the right kind of relationship advice to send your girlfriend running into their arms. Oh, you guys just didn't make sense together. Whilst gay men are uh, sculpted as shallow hunters who once they find their prey, easily get bored and start playing with their food. But is it all a load of bunk designed to keep us in our place? Or <coughs> is there an annoying little grain of truth that you can't quite get out from between your teeth? Let's find out tonight as we debate the old wives' tale. All homosexuals are sluts. And to help us do that, we've got a panel of uh, special guests. Uh, now, I'm going to start with... No, let me, you're the 14? Yes, yes. You're the 14? I have the loose Dean R. Curie. How are you? I'm good. Very loose. <laughs> the lusty Andy McNamara. Lusty and ready to go. And, of course, <laughs> the lascivious Miss Barb Wire. How are you, Barb? Hello, gorgeous. How are you? <laughs> good. <laughs> and then uh, arguing against, saying that homosexuals are pure and, and, and snow white driven, uh, uh, the pure <laughs> Michael Dalton. Very pure. The saintly Dean Beck. Oh, uh, you got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and the Madonna of Ben TV, Miss Lindsay Kuriliff. Thank you very much for joining us. And no, I'm not a slut. I'm still a virgin. All right. <laughs> uh, let's start with the, uh, the four team. Take it away. <laughs> Mr. Akiri. Some people call me a slut. And they would be correct. I wear the slut badge loud and proud. We homos just can't get enough. Just ask George Michael. Being a slut isn't a bad thing. I think of myself as a modern day saint, providing a very needed service to the community and sleeping with everyone. Even that guy that has no shot of getting laid and everyone knows it. Mm. <laughs> well, without sluts giving it away willy nilly, sex crimes would be on the rise all over Melbourne. So I just want to say thank you to all those sluts everywhere, near and far, for doing your bit with the recent closure of so many gay venues, it's nice to see homosexuals giving back and making sure businesses like Porter Street, Club 80 on Wet on Wellington are staying out of the red and keeping easy access shagging available for all. Sleeping around's never been so easy since we don't have to worry about that pesky marriage thing. Thanks to same-sex marriage not being legal in Australia, we don't have to worry about divorce. It's so handy and makes threesomes, foursomes, orgies and smorgies that much more fun and hassle-free. There are pash sluts, drunk sluts, sex sluts, and ugly sluts. Sorry, once again. <laughs> but with all this variety, the only thing I know for sure is that there's plenty of gay sluts. Well, Grinder and Scruff and Recon apps, they're proof of that. Thanks to these lovely iPhone apps, being a slut's never been easier. A gaggle of gay goodness is just a click of the iPhone away, where you can see who's around and up for some rumpy pumpy. They get to your house faster than a Pizza Hut delivery and leave a no-mess, no-fuss delivery and are out the door before you can change the sheets. It's homo delivery straight to your door. You know, I do love seeing a grinder profile that says, I'm happily committed and partnered in a relationship, so I'm only looking for no-strings-attached fun. <laughs> it's handy. It really is. Sluts, you can stand up and be counted or just wait and see who's left standing at the end of the night. And don't forget the slut anthem. We're here. We're queer. We'd really like a beer. And we're on our knees and ready to please. Slut on. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dean. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, well, that's a, a good, strong opening. Let's see how the against team fares. Let's go, Mr. Michael Dalton. Gay men are definitely not sluts. I would, I, just because gay men like to explore, it doesn't make them a slut. Just because sometimes that exploration takes them to deep, dark places. Quite often, deep, dark places does not make you a slut. 
if you were, if all gay men were sluts, then it would be difficult to be sitting. Oh, sorry, wrong person. But uh, gay men just like to enjoy themselves. They like to get out in this world and enjoy themselves so that we have different ways that we can enjoy ourselves. You say grind or, or, or daddy hunt or, um, or all those other ways that you can still enjoy yourself does not make you a slut. A slut, I, I, you know, say for instance, if you wanted to go out and you wanted to wear something that was slightly revealing, if you were going out for an evening and you were wearing a short skirt, are you therefore begging for it? No. Gay men to, can choose to wear what they want to wear, choose to be how they want to be, which is why we, we're definitely not sluts, because we have that choice. So are we sluts? No, most certainly not. We just like to explore. Well, that was a, a very, uh, and thank you for being you, very succinct. <laughs> uh, that was a, a strong opening, and I found out that they're not so much um, smartphones as smut phones. Uh, but let's take a break. We'll reconvene in just a few moments. Please come back. Welcome back. You're watching Ben TV's Alphabet Soup. We're having one of our debates. The topic is all homosexuals are sluts. We've had the first round. I think some fairly light but clear jabs. Let's get our fists out and get into the second round. Um, starting for the... No, stop that. God. You said it, not me. All right. Going for the, the uh, four team saying that all homosexuals are sluts. Mr. Andy McNamara. Thank you, Remy. All homosexuals are sluts. I'd like to prove this by quoting some men who at various times have been among the most trusted, influential and successful in the world. Reverend, Reverend Ted Haggard was the pastor of the New Life Church of Colorado. He had been quoted saying, homosexual behaviour is corrupt and fleeting. Now why should we pay any heed to this, man, any heed to this man's opinion? Excuse me. Well in 2006, after hearing a television interview where Reverend Haggard attacked homosexuals, a male prostitute, Mike Jones, spoke up about the sex and meth sessions he had been having with the happily married Reverend Haggard over the past three years. I think it's clear that Reverend Haggard is an expert on both homosexuality and promiscuity, and we really should listen to his opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Eddie Long was the pastor of the New Birth Missionary Baptist Church of Georgia, a church of 25,000 people. Reverend Long has been quoted as saying, the homosexual lifestyle is full of infidelity and is morally corrupt. Reverend Long administers a homosexual cure to return people to the right path. Now, why should we pay any heed to Reverend Long's opinion? Well, in 2005, 2010, I'm sorry, five young male parishioners of the happily married Reverend Long filed lawsuits claiming that he coerced them into sex in exchange for cars, jewellery and holidays. Mm. I think it's clear that Reverend Long is also an expert on both homosexuality and promiscuity, and we should really listen to his opinion. And get a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend, Reverend George Allen Rikers is a Southern Baptist minister. Reverend Rikers has been quoted as saying, homosexuality is a sexual perversion and homosexuals are manipulated into sinful behaviours by the leaders of the homosexuality revolt, whatever that means. <laughs> Reverend Rikers is a proponent of homosexual conversion therapy also. Now, why should we pay heed to Reverend Rikers' opinion? Well, in 2010, the New York Times claimed that the happily married Reverend Rikers had taken a 20-year-old rent boy with him on a two-week trip to Europe. Ooh. Despite initial denials from Rev Reverend Rikers, the male escort in question told CNN that he had provided Rikers with sexual massages and that Rikers had initially found him on rentboy.com. <laughs> I think Rent it's clear that Reverend Rikers com. is also an expert on both homosexuality and promiscuity, and we really should listen to his views. All homosexuals are sluts. Amen. Wow. <laughs> Thank Amen. you very much. Do you know, Andy, sometimes... <laughs> I feel that you score a self-goal. <laughs> but thank you very much. And, and did, they, did they specify what a sexual massage was? No, no. no. It, it was naked. They specified that. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's very sexual. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Want it to be. <laughs> okay. So, uh, of course, um, we have to have, like, you know, one of the, the saintliest, cleanest uh, people in the, uh, the queer community to really argue this point. Please take it away, Mr. Dean Beck. Well, if only it were true that all homosexuals were sluts, you know, us poofs would save so much time surfing Grinder and Gator. We'd be too busy rooting to worry about getting on the internet. Now, although I find uh, Andy's 
blind faith a little disturbing. <laughs> He's also set back the gay rights movement some <laughs> 50 years. <laughs> you know, for decades, our brothers and sisters have fought long and hard for us to achieve the recognition, the understanding, and the acceptance that we currently enjoy in this country today. However, we are still yet to achieve equality, of course. Now, the, take Bob Brown, Greens leader, for example. You know, the only thing he's hugging is trees. He's not going anywhere near bears or cubs or otters. Um, Penny Wong, for example, she's not running around Parliament House going, Joya, Joya, love you a long time. She's not doing it. <laughs> Um, and I don't think for a minute, <laughs> I don't think for a minute that the Honourable Michael Kirby, former High Court judge, had under his robes a gold lame g-string. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Matthew Mitchum, he would drown if he was wearing leather chaps. Now, <clears throat> I want to know, do you really think because Anton Enos's name sounds like something that must be penetrated, he is a slut? No, <laughs> not at all. Stephen Fry, let's take him for an example. <laughs> He's too depressed to be rooting for a start. But <laughs> if he wasn't, the only thing that his over-intellectualising would make get harder is laughter. <clears throat> let's take right-wing commentator Tim Wilson. Just because he works for the Institute of Public Affairs doesn't mean that he's having affairs with the public. <laughs> and just because international superstar and pop icon George Michael has a bladder issue... D actually, let's scrap George Michael. <laughs> just because international pop star and pop icon Ricky Martin is <laughs> living in his own Vida Loca with two kids, he hasn't got time to be a slut. Now, homosexuals have every right to celebrate the very thing that makes them different from the rest. And if you find yourself in judgment of those who revel in that expression, those swimming in the pool of diversity, uh, ask yourself, are you tethered to some constructed religious doctrine from which you can never truly be free? Ask yourself, under what shadow of moralistic s a societal expectation are you censoring your own self-expression? Live authentically, love your fellow man, and know that they're not all sluts. Fantastic. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh you're racking up points all over the place. You rebutted. I'm in well impressed. I'm well impressed. All right, that was a good, strong round. Let's take a few moments just to catch our breath. Don't go away. Stick with us. We'll go to the final round. All homosexuals are sluts. Are you? Welcome back. You're watching Alphabet Soup by Ben TV. We're having one of our uh, wonderful debates. Tonight's topic is all homosexuals are sluts. Now, uh, we've had four speakers. It's a little bit uh, confusing where we're at, so I'm just going to ask everyone to quickly recap. Dean Icuri, what was your point? I presented myself as Exhibit A for the defence, a slut, McSlutty, slut, slut. <laughs> you, can, you can get those for breakfast at that burger joint. Yep. Um, and then we went to Mr. Michael Dalton, whose point was... That gay men are explorers. They just like to go to deep, dark places quite often, but it doesn't make them a slut. Okay, because it's, it's, it's always a new place that you're going to. Yeah, well, even if you go to the same place, it still doesn't mean you, you can re-explore it, can't you, you know? Over and over, over, and over again. Over it doesn't make you a slut. Come again? Um, and then we went to Mr. Andrew McNamara, who I was a little confused how your argument oh, well, yeah, helped your team. I went quite religious, just saying that um, everyone, even the most holy people in the world, in everyone's eyes, are still quite often homosexual, and if they are, very slutty. And I would also like to say, I think, um, surely, exploring, 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 sounds quite similar to sluttiness, in my opinion. <laughs> well, but if you're exploring, we're all dark, long spaces. Yes. <laughs> yes. So are you suggesting to not be a slut, you need to stay at home on the couch? Um, quite possibly a good approach, I'd say, to non-sluttiness, <laughs> yes. Work for many. All right. Now, there was some rebutting coming from Mr. Dean Beck. Oh, look, I, I just think uh, he who lives in judgment, Andy, what was that line out of the Bible? I'm sure you'll know, know it. Um, uh, your eye. Um, those who throw stones in glass mm. yep. um, cubicles, <laughs> cages, <laughs> something. Anyway, uh, I focused on the fact that uh, there are plenty of homosexuals that we know and love that are in the public eye that clearly don't have time to be sluts, let alone... Uh, I'm, it would be on the cover of just about every uh, Murdoch Press newspaper in the world, or would have been. 
Yeah, so often obviously is, then isn't? arguing with the point that all sluts are homosexual can't be true. Well, can't be true. Exactly. Yeah, and can't actually I think I'm going to give you guys, uh, no, you guys a handicap point if you win this because that's that's a hard yeah. argument. Mm. All right, let's get ready. We've, we've They're handicapped as it is. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I object. <laughs> uh, it's not night court. Um, <laughs> all righty, let's get into our third round. Let's uh, see uh, how our team, uh, well, you're not really team captains, but how our third speakers sum up and close. Let's go to the arguing side that all homosexuals are sluts. And who better to speak for them than Miss Barb Wire? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. All homosexuals are sluts. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. No, 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 sorry, loves. Slut. What does the word slut mean? You can say, oh, he's a bit of a slut. Or you slut. Or get fucked, you slut. You know, you can say all those sort of things. And also, slut doesn't necessarily mean what it meant in the 80s. And I'm sorry. I am an 80s child. Yes, for those people that still do not like to use the word sat, slut, sorry, slut, <laughs> slut. Yes, loves, I'm here to tell you we're not in the 80s anymore. It was important back then because it was derogative towards women, the word slut, but we are actually in the year 2010, so get off the <laughs> bloody boxes. Ha <laughs> ha, we win. Yes. We've got the wrong year. 11, love. 11. 11. Yeah, well, I'm always a year behind, love. Anyway, so I'd just like to explain to you that I don't, not, not only do I believe that all homosexuals are sluts, I believe everybody are sluts. <laughs> because if you're not thinking about sex, you're, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and let's face it, even the most right-wing moral Christians are sluts. They're the sluttiest. Though. They are, love. They are, because it's not just in the doing, it's in the thinking. Oh, is that two minutes already? Slut. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, the year, thank you for contradicting me. We'll just the year 2011, the 21st century, and be proud to be a slut. Because, oh I know, it's better to be a slut than not get it at all, love. Anyway, have a jazzy time and just remember what this great country of ours was founded on. Criminals, poofters and whores. <laughs> <laughs> so, go out and be a slut, love. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and I think you raise a very valid point because nowadays we have man sluts as well. You know, yes, we've, we've broadened out. It's no longer just about, you know, w women are sluts and men are oh, studs. Um, it, it's for everyone. Uh, but speaking well, of... the political a diatribe has actually changed a lot over the years, you see. Yeah, well, I mean, for goodness sake, I mean, you know, 200 years ago, you know, if someone said, bugger me, well, <laughs> yeah, I, they probably got hung. <laughs> now you can say, you know, oh, now yeah, they celebrate oh, being me. well hung. You know, <laughs> yeah, like that, and, mm. you know, really, that means a bit... Mm, never mind. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, Lindsay, I hope I don't steal your thunder. I'm not sure if you're going to cover this, but I mean, the word slut has come from, because um, originally it was, oh, I'm, I might be, am I going into yeah, your territory? You I am. Yeah. I'm going to stop going right there. Time. We're going to move uh, to, uh, I think you're a man slut, really, inside. A, a woman's body. That has been said before, Remy, but while the thing about lesbianism is that, you know, as uh, we've talked about many, 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 many times, is that lesbians seem to like having the relationship. Okay, we like, well, some of them out there like having the relationship. When we talk about all homosexuals are sluts, mm -hmm. let me first draw your attention to the word homosexual. Mm. Homosexual, which basically, when you look at that, means somebody who likes to have sex at home. Okay, <laughs> so point one, homosexuals 
are not sluts, simply because, A, we're contradictory to Dean and your dark passages and dim lights and things like that. You haven't seen my house, have you? No, well, I've heard that it's very dark, very, very, very dark, and there's an awfully long corridor coming from the back of the house. Um, Andy, you've used strange and yet bizarre people who are men of the cloth, who are married to the church, which in many ways have deluded us to the fact that they're sluts because they are married to God and who knows what they do in, the, in their darkest hours. The word slut, let me talk about the word slut. The word slut means, well, used to mean a slovenly woman. Now, in our community, I have not seen anybody with wooden green teeth running around using as the proper word slut, nor are we slovenly people. You go into any queen or dyke's house and you'll see the queens, they have the leather lounge suites, it's all very modern or anting and very nice. And the lesbians, well, they're usually neat and tidy, but there may be a hint of last night's lentil and garlic or something like that lingering around. I'll be hung on, North, on High Street Northcote on Monday, I'm and sure. And beer bottles. Uh, well, tomorrow, <coughs> and beer bottles, of course. Now, to say that we are sluts is totally, I think, wrong because, Michael, as you spoke about earlier, mm. that we are experimenting. And I think one of the reasons that heterosexuals loathe us so much is that we can go out, <laughs> we can openly have sex if we want to. We, that does not mean that we're going to give birth. We do not fall pregnant. But how often do we, well, women, actually use that? We don't because we like the relationship. Men, on the other hand, I don't know how many times I've sat down with my gay boyfriends and we've been having a coffee at a, on a, at a cafe and they're looking at every little bit of trade that goes past them. I don't see them as being sluts. I just see them as being, well, as we know, men can't keep their, their minds off their um, genitalia for about seven seconds. Anything after that and you're gone. So <laughs> as a lesbian, as a woman, I just accept that. That he's not a slut. He just have a, has a, what would you say, a genetic, um, something wrong with him genetically and in the mind. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> I know I've been thrown in at the deep, but I think I'm doing okay. It's been proven that you're doing fine, love. I think I'm doing excellent. I, I must add so, at this moment that Lindsay's, one of our guests wasn't able to make it, so Lindsay's been thrown in I've at the been last thrown minute, in, so, so she's doing quite well. I'm, I'm just babbling on. What you're so suggesting is men can multitask, it's just that the other tasks are set. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that we're not sluts, no. that we can experiment with our sexuality and not have babies and really not have to get married if we don't want to. Your argument with all those famous people out there, you're absolutely right, Dean. If we were sluts in, in like today's um, sense of the word... How would we do Myers windows? We, could, we <laughs> couldn't have gone down to Zara's opening. We exactly. wouldn't be here at Bank TV. Heaven help us, we would be home having sex, which I would much rather be in actual fact. <laughs> yes. But however... But. We exactly. are not sluts. We experiment with our sexuality. We can have sex openly. We can do whatever we want. We are... Thank Hurrah. you. <laughs> <laughs> We're fabulous. Sum we up. are fabulous. We are not sluts. We just love who we are and we are gay and that's it. Hurrah. All right. Fantastic. Thank you very much. How do we I are? do? <laughs> oh, yeah. you know. In yeah. fact, you put them over the edge because it was like neck and neck and then you actually put in a bit of teamwork, which is one of my um, oh, um, so we scoring more systems. Points. Yeah, you scored more points. Oh, Just for deep end. Plus, you got a handicap. <laughs> so that's our argument about sluts. Now, everyone's heard the, the saying, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will oppress me forever. Look, all homosexuals are sluts. If this is true, uh. then we have to replace every <laughs> instance of the word queer with the word slut. The Melbourne Slut Film Festival, Slut History Victoria, Gender Slut, to name a few. I like it. Because I don't yeah. mind it at all. Oh, like Actually, I think we might. I think it's a very, very good idea. Yeah, yeah. Let's face it. Yeah. Let's face it. Do we have consensus? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we want to be sluts. Everyone shut up. Welcome, welcome to You're Slut TV. You're very quiet, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Slut TV. Slut now, TV. let's face it. Queers are everywhere. No longer we're here. We're queer. Now it's no ifs, no buts. We're here. We're sluts. Sluts in medicine. Government sluts. Hall, half the clergy? Sluts. Male hairdressers, <laughs> sluts. Anyone who works in a health food shop, slut. Former medical, uh, Australian Medical Association President Karen Phelps, Senator Bob Brown, ex-rugby player Ian Roberts, slutty slut slut. Ellen DeGeneres, dances like a slut. George Excuse Michael, me. huge slut. Any woman who can do something better than a man, like a lesbian, <laughs> obviously the statement Excuse all homosexuals are sluts is easily contested. It just takes one queer to abstain. And the argument is blown, even if nobody else is. If you're still not convinced, well, I was going to say lesbian bed death, but I think I'm going to get in trouble. 
You're, you're already, already in trouble. Okay. You're already in trouble. See, we take it for granted, but slut is a terrible word, full of Old Testament judgment and wrath. Yet, I'm allowed to say it as much as I want on television. However, I can only say the word well, a number of times, and we've already used a few there. Slut is a word full of hypocrisy. Women are sluts, but all right, men are studs. And I think that hypocrisy is where the problem lies. I think we're uh, posed with an unsolvable riddle. Mainstream decision makers stereotype us as sluts, but watch them squirm when we ask them to get married. So next time you're about to call your friend or an enemy a slut, see if there isn't some other word you can use. So till next time we meet, take care of yourselves and each other. Thank you for watching Ben TV. My name is Remy Shelton. Have a great night. We'll see you next week. Yay. Yay.